to go to the old man uh, Hacksaw Hamilton. Issue one, free agents. Let's talk about them. Um, I have a screen. I'm going to share a screen that has a list of uh, free agents out there. Um, hopefully, I didn't don't do the wrong one. Are we going to be looking at uh, just the MLB free agents or the Dodger free agents first? Oh, first we will look at uh, let's look at the Dodgers ones. Um, no, it's not much, the screen's open up. up anyway, yeah, so. is it? It still is not. It's not showing. Oh, here we go. I got to actually hit the share button. There you go. Do you see it? Yep. Yep. Excellent. So the Dodgers free agents. I'm going to expand this. Oh, well, we'll just go through it. So we're not going to worry about the first guy. He's suspended. Um, <laughs> right. David Price, uh, 32 million comes off the table, including the 16 million the or whatever it was the Dodgers were getting from the Red right. Sox. Uh, Trey Turner um, is off is a free agent. Player the, option, the, right? Or uh, team go, option, I think. No, not Trey Turner. No, it's just. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Justin. yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, two of them, TT and JT. Clayton He's Kershaw, right he better be back. Um, Justin Turner, it is a player o or a team option, so the Dodgers would have to exercise a two million team op two million dollar team option to get him back um, for sixteen million, or they can re renegotiate or whatever. Uh, Kimbrell, uh, Greg Craig Kimbrell, uh, he he will not be back. Joey Gallo, <laughs> I doubt he's back unless he wants to come back on a good make you know make good. Right. Uh, Andrew Heaney is interesting. I mean, he definitely had some moments. Uh, then Just we got his injuries on that part, of shoulder shoulder inflammation. Yeah, yeah, those injuries, and it's like, uh, the Dodgers seem to lead the league in pitching injuries, and they yeah. bring him into the playoffs with them. Tyler Anderson, uh, I think, I hope he's back. Danny Duffy, the allegedly a Dodger, the legend of uh, Danny Duffy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude's the been myth. a Dodger for a year and a half, and, and we never yeah. seen him. Um, then we have uh, Tommy Canely, who who came on pretty strong at the end of the year. Kevin Pillar played about a week before he got hurt. Right. Um, Hanser Alberto, the best cheerleader on the team last year, and right. Jimmy, Jimmy Nelson, Nelson who who's who everything exploded on him. The rest are right. just a bunch of old minor leaguers. So, gentlemen, we have the list out there. <clears throat> um, so let's talk about. Why don't we just go right up to JT? Um, team option. The Dodgers have they have four more days to to do that option. Um, what do you guys think? You want to go first, Alex? Yeah, sure. Um, and obviously, it's gonna be my personal. Um, I, I I feel like they decline and just try to get them back on a better deal. I think what the team option would be sixteen mil per year, right? Yeah. It, yeah, I believe it's sixteen mil. And uh, I think also with Vargas already at the major league level, I think they're trying to break him in to start, get more playing time. I don't – I think – I I would like to keep Justin Turner. I mean, he's a, he's not a clubhouse counselor. He's a good clubhouse guy. Good uh, good model for um, other Dodger players. But at at $16 million, I think it's kind of – I don't know. Depending on what, what the Dodgers see, his, his position for 2023, I do feel he was more of a spot starter role. Um, kind of making way for, like I said, Mike, uh, Miguel Vargas, uh, maybe DH a little bit here and there, third base here and there. But um, it would have, for me personally, it would have to be at a smaller average annual. Yeah. So that's not, so that'd be a decline for me. Okay. And just FYI, he turns 38 uh, this right. month. Um, Trinidad. Yeah, that one I can agree with Alex on that as far as like probably not getting the club option. Obviously, he'd probably get him on a cheaper deal, but yeah, he's a fan favorite. That's for sure. He's one of my favorites, but that'll be sad for me to see him in a, another uniform. I think I believe I heard him speak on AM 570 with Dave. I say he was pretty much saying like he doesn't see himself like probably leaving. He wants to end his career as a Dodger, which we all probably do. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, baseball's a business now, so it's going to be pretty hard. Like whether the Dodgers not want to, you know, give take that club option and get him on a shorter deal. And as far as our prospects go in the minors, we already got Miguel Vargas. I mean, you saw this year as well, too. Max Muncy took over that third base right. role as well, a lot this season as well. So we got to take into consideration that the Dodgers are going to be one looking for utility players as well. Let yeah, alone you got some. Chris mm -hmm. Taylor. Right. And then, um, yeah, my I, I agree with you guys in terms of the contract. I'd like them back. Um, what, I, what I don't want to see is the Dave Roberts – 
hey, I've got the veteran. And since I have the veteran, it doesn't matter. I'm going to play him. I mean, yeah. Miguel Vargas didn't get one at bat during those playoffs. And we had guys that could not hit. And JT was one of them. He was done. Uh, whatever he was pretty, it was. He's pretty bad in the postseason. Yeah, it was terrible. He was really he sad a, to watch. Yeah. <laughs> he had two hits, but even those hits were weak. There were flare. I mean, there was like, I thought he was like one for 11 with a flare to right. With like yeah, six there's K's. also that flare was... to center during game four. There you I was, go. I was, I was in center. That's why I remember it. Uh, <laughs> speaking, yeah. of Miguel Mar- speaking of Miguel Vargas, actually, he was on deck, I believe, in the, I think it was the third, the second game uh, in, in San Diego or the first game in San Diego when they used, then he took away their, uh, the DH. He was on deck until the end of the game. Yeah, yeah, Oof. I saw that. And I was like, right now, and he almost had his first at bat there. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I do remember that. And so, you know, I so if JT's to be on the team, I want him to actually have to earn playing time. Um, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> right. That's why I feel maybe like a spot role, maybe forty starts, fifty starts yeah, between third base like and that. DH. But the thing also is, uh, you know, if he, they do the kind of contract, I feel like some other team would offer him at least uh, give him a chance to start. I mean, he didn't hit collectively that bad i mean he was a what yeah 780 ops he was a one 120 ops plus for the year he was strong for about three i months. feel like maybe he you know really some other team fills him in at third base and it just depends if he wants you know playing time does he want to finish his career in, um with the dodgers i mean it's a lot of factors i would say just give him you know that utility role i would switch off right. to max right. at least let him DH even every now and then. I mean, he's not a bad hitter. I mean, he'll give you like right. at least ten plus home runs every year. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, also, seems- there's also you know there's limited at bats. I mean, you have you also have Michael Bush. Yeah. That's can basically just tore it up in AAA. We'll you have you know we'll definitely once he plays Michael third, Bush. you know you have <laughs> what's going to happen to Lux. I mean, there's a lot of questions. So not enough at bats, yeah. I think for for everybody. Yeah, I think that's an issue. Um, Okay, so qualifying offers. The there's um I think only three are eligible um for qualifying offers. Well there might be more. Um like but I think really the guys that are in line to that would work in the qualifying offer really works out. The Dodgers make a qualifying offer. I think it's nineteen point X million dollars per year, right? for twenty twenty three. Um the player has a few days to decide whether to accept it or not. If he accepts it, that's his contract. Right. Um, for that season, if he doesn't accept it, and another and then another team signs him, the Dodgers will get you know some some type of. Are they still doing the compensation? compensation. Yeah, is it's still it there's a little supplemental bit. beer still, a depending. I think it, um, it's yeah with the Dodgers they get so little because of the revenue. Well, it depends also if they sign another top free agent. I think it bumps it down to B instead of it a. It can right? yeah that's right. I mean because last year they had the whole they lost Seager but signed Freeman. Um, right. Right. Exactly. So we have Trey Turner. Who will, who right now he, he's going to be approaching his year thirty season. Right. Um, Clayton Kershaw, he's uh gosh he's going to be thirty five in April. Oh my gosh. Is he and really? Then, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And right. Tyler he Anderson. He was twenty when he came into the league. I know he was a baby. <laughs> and then Tyler Anderson, who will be thirty three next season. Um, so they have it's kind of interesting. They have projected. They have so I think Trey Turner. That's slam dunk. They're going to get something Absolutely. for him. Right. Yeah. Um, That's a Clayton free pick Kershaw. if he doesn't. Yeah, they, yeah, of course. It's a free yeah, pick. Clayton Kershaw, last year they didn't do it just as a courtesy. But this year, he's coming off. He's healthy. And he had a really nice season. Really good season. Um, they project him at $31 million plus I, for yeah. the season. I think you offer it, but I don't see him signing anywhere else, to be honest. I don't think he's going yeah. with the Rangers for his no, last I season. I don't, I, don't, I, don't. I don't. not take that offer. Huh? He might not even take that offer. They say, I think, I believe Freeman and them said that they're going to wait to uh, re-sign him. But even then, I believe Freeman might either take another pay cut or just take a one-year deal like he did this season. Yeah, yeah it sounds like he's definitely a one-year type, one-year deal type. It'd guy. probably be year to year moving forward. Yeah, which I think that's sense. pretty. That's kind of low for Tyler Anderson. I think he gets more than. I think he gets yeah. a three-year deal, like three-year, closer to sixty million. I, well, I think if you yeah. if you offer him a qualifying offer, I think he he declines it. Some teams gonna give him three years. I mean, he was he was maybe a top ten starting pitcher in NL. To, like yeah, like it is. Question. It's a it's it's a one season. You know, it's only one season, but it you know pretty phenomenal season. Was, he he was as as we all saw, he was really good in the playoffs, and he should not have been pulled. 
Um, he was Horse dominant. <laughs> and um, and so his, you know, and his say, arm has kind of low mileage as well, I would say. It does. He hasn't yeah. really pitched too much. And he's not throwing 100 miles an hour, which is actually good on the arm. I mean, these guys right, throwing right. that hard or, you know, Tommy John, here I come. So I'm sure they'll evaluate, <laughs> right. but I, I do hope that they at least offer him a, a qualifying offer. Yeah, I think um, I think he, he he's looking for a three year. I don't see. I see teams giving that two or three year deals. Two or three yeah. year, probably. Yeah. Kind of like a rich. Yeah. Well, the, my comparable even would be what Eduardo Rodriguez. I think last year, mm. five what year, five year, Correct. fifteen million point seven per, and he was no. I mean, he was four point seven for the last three four years. Yeah. Lefty, so I mean, that's why I think you know. Thir- what thirteen million? I think it's really on the low end. Yeah, it's wishful thing. I, I wish, I hope, but I don't. I think it's gonna be a lot more than that. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking it's probably closer to you know three forty five to forty eight, um, with the multi. Um, mm-hmm. But we'll see. Um, let's go. Let now. Let's go. Um, talk about of our free agents. I'm gonna go down the list again and yeah. talk and just give a thumbs up, you know, yes or no on if you want to keep them. So, um, Hall of Very Good Pitcher David Price, yes or no? I think he's retiring, right? I would yeah, say. I, mean, I believe this year. Yeah, I I don't think there's enough room on for the for yeah. the bullpen. Yeah, I think he got a lot of flack, but I think he he did a good job for us this year. A lot of people hate him for I think I don't know what reason, but. <laughs> It's I, crazy. He's pre- that, I mean, his salary is a salary, but I mean, he's a good dude, had a, dude had one heck of a career. Yeah. Well, um, Trey Turner, you want him back? I, I, uh, mean, I wouldn't mind him back. I mean, that's, I think he played a lot better in the postseason than I expected. I mean, he's still what a top three, top five shortstop in yeah. the league. And I, think he, and I think he ages well. I think he has a body, like he's lean. He's, I don't think he's that bulky. He's just slow down. Speed's a big, a big factor in his game. I think he's built kind of for the long run, but I, a 10 year, 30 million. I don't think Freeman's going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I think I he'll agree. max out maybe five, but. Trinidad, what do you think? Oh man. See, that's the thing though. This year, there's not that many short stars besides, I mean, unless Dodger fans are willing to go except Carlos Correa. <laughs> Uh, let, let, but, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to talk about shortstop because it's, yeah. it's obviously, as of yesterday, it's a huge gap with Trey Turner going. I would, I would keep Trey Turner, like, uh, obviously, like Alex said, we're not going to sign him for 10 year plus. He's already mm-hmm. hitting age 30. So I want to yeah. say either around, well, for me, in my personal opinion, three to four years. Uh, if he is willing to resign with the Dodgers, I give him three to four years, or probably give him around like the 85 mil for those three, four years. Because you have to think about it, his age is going to catch up to him as far as like his speed. Maybe he'll have it, but we don't know. That, we don't know what's going to happen with him down the yeah. road. You know. Right. So I mean, and then again too in the playoffs, he did play well, but then those errors kind of cost us a lot too. Yeah, his his defense definitely. It was it, it, all season. It was a little. It wasn't what I was hoping for. Clayton Kershaw, thumbs up, right guys? Yeah, that's, that's a big thumbs up. I mean, right you there. worship the no-brainer. devil if you don't want Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers. We already talked about JT. We all want him back at a right price. Kimbrel? I think we all agree not at 16 million. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I don't think million million on I, you know, I just feel bad for that guy. Yeah. It wasn't like he wasn't trying. He just could not find it. Joey Gallo. Oh, that one. I would you know, say I, thumbs down. You know, I would say thumbs down only for the fact that he does strike out a lot. Yeah, Alex? I think it, all, it just, for me, depends on the deal. And plus, I think you know, we have so many, I think, prospects kind of in the outfield as well. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it depends on the on the team, on the deal, you know. Yeah, I think that you get them for like 10, def- 8 million. I mean, for yeah, one year, I, I I'm concerned. It, I could do worse. Alex, you, you brought it up a little bit, Alex, about, you know, we got other guys. I mean, yeah. Outman, right? Let's get <laughs> Outman that's my, playing, that man. was my, yeah. You Maybe know, Martin, Andy Pot- Martin played Pot- really Pot- well. Pot- someday, you know. Exactly. All right, we talked briefly about Andrew Heaney. Um, yeah, I'd That's like him. Thumbs back. up for me. I like them. Yeah, I think Freeman also goes after guys that you know maybe their injury risk, like like maybe Ker- Clay Kershaw, maybe half a season, but when they do pitch, they're yeah. excellent. And Heaney was, I mean, he was ex- he was excellent. Kind of like he, when he was in there, too. he was. Not yet, yeah, like three to three to four innings out of the bullpen. I mean, he was yeah. phenomenal. Yep. Turn it out. Uh, with Andrew Heaney, I want him back. 
All you do because he'll eat up evenings, that's for sure. We could throw him in the bullpen. So he reminds me of like a Kenta Maeda kind of guy, too. Just throw him in there in the bullpen, getting him with whatever role we need him in. Because even then, because we always carry a six man rotation. Right. Let's see. Um, um, we already talked about Tyler, Tyler Anderson. Um, Danny Duffy, allegedly a Dodger. I think I mean, third time's the charm. We got to let him go. <laughs> yeah. I just. I think I also because of, uh, mm-hmm. I think I also because of just the... to throw one freaking inning, <laughs> just, just one, one inning. inning. <laughs> That's, That's it, sure. just one, just to say he was on the Dodgers because he was a Dodgers. Is Cole Hamill still kid. on the on the on the list or no? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's still an option. You just collect oh, these guys. He was in Philly, enjoying being a former Philly great. Right. Yeah, and plus I also think it's kind of the same thing with uh with JT. We have a lot of we have our top what three starting pitchers in AAA. I mean, yeah, we have like maybe one spot available at this point. I don't think Duffy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we have three guys in the minor leagues right now waiting to come up anyway. So I mean, yeah, you know, AAA, yeah. probably just walk. And we'll definitely be talking about those guys. Definitely. Tommy Canley, I'm a I'm a easy that's a huge guess thumbs up. Him. Yeah, yeah, I think he proved himself in the postseason as well too. Plus, yeah. I had an interview with him at Rancho last year. He was a really cool that confirms dude. it. <laughs> he's a good there dude. Go he's one of those guys that's just he's a good dude. It look, and it also looks like the team. Uh, he bonds with the team. Like, was he's not like a you know cancer kind of guy either. So no, he's he's definitely. I think he's he's a guy. I think he's past his injury now. It's kind of the time to sign him. Maybe you get him on a friendly deal as well. So I'm all for it. I give him a friendly yeah, he, was na- he was nasty. He was nasty. He was nasty. That's aside from the seventh inning where he threw eight straight changeups. Um, I mean, he was phenomenal. So I say, yeah. Oh yeah, same here. I mean, definitely. What was it? I think that at bat was two one total, right? Where he threw like eight straight changeups. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. the first two batters. I mean, it was. I, yeah. I, I'd have, I think they should have switched up a little bit, but like you know, the previous the previous game, he just killed everybody. So yeah. Yeah. It just happens. So he's a definite, he's a yes. We got to get yeah. that guy back. Um, let's see. So Kevin Pilar, I'm a no. Not that I don't no. like him. Yeah, nothing just, against I, him. I don't want to leave any. I I I don't want to to play him. Spots. Yeah. Uh, any any yeses on him? I mean, kind of sucks that for him. He had to like end his career right there as a Dodger in an injury. So that kind of yeah. hurt him a lot. I, I think he catches on. He's still he's he's going to be thirty four next. Still, year. Yeah. There's, there's still something left. He has in a the chance. Tank. Yeah. You know, if he does want to come back again and do that triple A thing, I'm all for that. Right. I just don't want him just blocking somebody. You know. I don't. Uh. So this doesn't make sense. Jimmy Nelson. Oh, uh, uh, for me, it's hundred percent. Yeah. I'll, yeah. If he's cheap, the curveball, man. I mean, he will. What twenty twenty one before he got hurt? I think he was, he was probably one of the best. Relief really pitchers in the NL. I mean, he was disgusting. So for my, me, my, it's, a, it's a thumbs up. My buddy just texted. Well my buddy just texted me a picture. You know, uh, one of those things. Aaron Judge in a Dodger uniform. <laughs> I'm all for that too. <laughs> we'll get to that probably. We'll talk about. It, but that. he can't have yeah. 99, man. That's Ryu. Come on. Um, so Jimmy Jimmy Nelson, yeah, bring yeah. back Mr. Curveball. He got. It's so sad because. That dude, man, 2017 was a really good pitcher. He was 2021. Really he was a great pitcher. I mean, yeah, until he, he got, got down, he, he was killing the league. It, well, it was Oops. him and Corey Knebel too in 2021. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Corey Knebel, both of them were dead nasty. Healing. I know. Speaking of Corey Knebel, there are a lot of free agents out there. So are we know on Corey a Knebel. Alberto. Oh, I didn't shoot. I missed it. I missed. I, you know. I, yeah, I'm a no. On I love him, but I don't just. I just don't think it's. I think yeah. we have different oh, internal I just totally, options. Yeah, totally skipped Hanser, and I, you know, appreciate. Love him, the guy. Oh, yeah, not on the playoff roster. It, it's kind of says a lot. 